Welcome to Wilbur D. Rao Middle School, where the teachers are great and every single kid is cool. Truly, learn with the common goal. We are safe, respectful, and responsible. Home to math minds, some of the best readers, musicians, athletes, scholars, and web leaders. Lots happening in this wonderful place, and there's only one way to stay up to date. So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So if you got a case of the sandbox blues, hit the YouTube, check the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Not a thing that we cannot do. Growth mindset, it's the Shamrock News. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, party people? Welcome to another wonderful Wednesday. It's time for episode six of season nine of a Shamrock News. I'm Bo, aka Bobra. And I'm Ryder, aka the guy who hits bombs. We're going to start things off today with a press conference for our pennies for people. Hello everyone. Emma's gonna be taking some questions today. I am so happy to take questions today, except if they're from Matthew, then just ignore them all. Emma! 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 Elizabeth! We've heard that the Shamrock News and Rao Middle School is holding a Shamrock service theme every month. Why have you decided to do that? Because we want to make sure that, uh, that we continue to focus on helping those around us. We have a lot of people in our community and want to set an example. We should be lifting up our neighbors and friends, acquaintances, and even those who are strangers. We want Rao to be a place where you can look out for each other. Emma! 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 What is the theme for the month of October? Our theme for the month of October is pennies for people. People. Pennies for People is a fundraising event where students and staff bring in their change to make a change. Alexa, how do we participate? We ask that you bring in any change or dollar bills that you and your family are willing to spare. You'll drop them off in your home and classroom inside the tin can that every classroom has. Every week, Shamrock News members will come and collect it, your tin and count up the money. Emma! Can we only bring in pennies? No! You can bring in dimes, nickels, quarters, half dollars, dollar bills, etc. Anything that is acceptable in, in the American currency is acceptable. Emma! 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 Where will all the donated money go? We'll be donating the money to the Wichita Center Housing Fund, which is a fund within the Norris Kakima School District that helps families pay for rent and other expenses. Emma! 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 Do the classes who bring in the most money win anything? Yeah! The satisfaction of helping those around you, that knowing that when there are those in need, you will not ignore the beacons of Gondor and request aid and assistance. Also, the top two classes in the building will get a donut party at courtesy at the Shamrock News, aka us. <laughs> Mr. Dix. Thank you. When will the pennies for people drive end? The drive will go until Friday, November 4th, 2022. Matthew, I guess. Oh, I have a question. Uh, um, actually, never mind. Let's just cut to the next segment. Like, oh. <laughs> just a reminder that you've still got about 10 days to, re to submit art to the October Art Contest. Welcome to this lovely Octarticon advertisement. Good morning, Shamrocks. I am once again ecstatic to announce. Octarticon is well underway, and we are loving the art you've all submitted so far. Here are a few of the top contenders.
I'm here to recap a few things and better the understanding of the awards. Here are the updated award descriptions. First off, the main event, the Spooky Award. Something creepy and creatively disturbing is encouraged. However, submissions with gore or too much body horror will be ignored. We'd love to see some monsters and skeletons, but anything fall related would also be accepted. We'd also like to emphasize that the spooky element of the contest is only optional. We'd also like to state that spooky doesn't necessarily mean Halloween. The spookiness is only an optional side part of the October contest. Next, we have beautiful hues. Keep the colors varied and unique. Sunsets, galaxies, and pieces with nice contrast and creative but pleasing color palette. Smoothly rolling in, we have the simple aesthetic. For this one, we want you to think simple, but also clean and well designed. We want it to have a simple yet satisfying vibe. Now my personal favorite, the Unique Award. For this award, we want incredibly original art that stood out from everything else. Meaning the winner could be anything from a beautiful mushroom to a squid flying through space. Last but not least, the Shamrock Favorite. This one's relatively straightforward. All you little Shamrocks will vote. We'll let you look through all the artwork submitted and the top voted piece will win. Keep in mind, so far, you can only submit one entry. However, we may bump it up to two per person near the end. Please submit your piece by the 25th. Keep in mind you could win an award, but it might not be the one you're aiming for. For example, if your pumpkin patch had nice contrast, it might win the beautiful hues rather than the spooky award. This way, more submissions can get an award. Another thing to keep in mind, if your piece is truly spectacular, it might win multiple. We can't wait to see everyone's Octarticon submissions. Let's check in with another great addition to our It's Blitz segment. Anywhere you go, anywhere you look, <laughs> nose in the book, nose in the book, nose in the book, nose in the book. It's lit. A segment on the Shamrock News I'm sure all of you have seen. If you've seen the Shamrock News, you've seen It's Lit. I like It's Lit. I think that recommending books to people is a great idea, and I'm really proud of the people that have worked on it. I think they've done a great job, and um, great work. But there's one thing about It's Lit that I don't know if I really like, and um, it's the intro. Before we do any drastic changes, I think we should talk to some of the people of Rao, see if they like the intro. What's your name? Ace. And what do you think about the It's Lit intro? What? What is that? The It's Lit intro? <laughs> yes, love it. Yo, what's your name? Orson. Orson? What do you think about the, sh uh, the It's Lit intro? I think the It's Lit intro is one of the worst intros for the Shamrock. So true. How do you feel about the It's Lit intro? I feel it could be better. It could be better. It'd be cool if it was like classical, like a classical song, or like some kind of like waltz. That is great. Yeah. How do you feel about the It's Lit intro? Um, I don't really like the current one, and I don't know. Yes, yes. How do you feel about the It's Lit intro? Mid. Miss Momoros, what do you think about the It's Lit intro? Um, I really don't mind it much. I think it's kind of uh, creative and shows a lot of books and seems to be fun. Awesome. TJ, what do you think about the It's Lit intro? Oh, um, hate it. No reason that I would ever like it. That intro. Every single time I see it, I am filled with nothing but rage. Every single time I see it, I want to leave my classroom and do anything better with my life, but I am stuck in homeroom watching that intro. 
Mr. Dix, what do you think about the Islet intro? I think it's a real expertise in lyrics and performance. I think there's like the anywhere you go, anywhere you look, you can find me on the low with my nose in a book. You get like that rhyme scheme with the O and the O and the hook and the hook. I think it's really crafty and whoever made it should be really proud of themselves and I think it should be celebrated as if it were top 40 material. Your opinion, man. How do you feel about the It's Lit intro? You mean the one that's been our It's Lit intro for like a bazillion years? Yes. I think we could rework it. Correct answer. Clearly we have some very conflicting ideas about the It's Lit intro, but if you would like to change it, you can submit your intro to Mr. Dix's email. If you have any musical talent at all, or maybe if you don't and you just want to give it a try, make sure to submit all of your song ideas to Mr. Dix through his email. And once we have all of them, we're going to pick the best one. And remember, Mr. Dix poured his heart and soul into the old It's Lit intro. Make sure you do too. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Tenacious T, and I'm an anonymous student at Raul Middle School. I'm here to give you guys a message. That clip before now was blasphemous. I can't believe anyone would want to change it to the intro. It's great. So I'm here to ask you, when you see that Saramok survey, click no. We want it to stay. We need it to stay. Thank you. Tenacious T, out. Oregon Ballot Book signups are underway. Neptune, it's pretty alright. Nice. What about you, Elizabeth? Well, I've read too many books, I can't keep track. But if we all like reading so much, shouldn't we sign up for Obob? What's Obob? The Oregon Battle of the Books. It's the most awesome competition in Oregon and Round Middle School, guys. Come on. That's I think this was common knowledge. That sounds fun. Tell me more. Well, the first thing you need to do is assemble a team. You may have up anywhere up to five members on a team. You need to sign up with either a paper copy in the library or a digital copy in the Rail Hub. Then you will be called down to Mr. Dix's room to figure out which books and the rest of your group will be reading. There are 16 books, so um, which means everyone needs to read at least four books. You'll then get the next four months to read these books. On February 25th, 2023, we'll host a battle at Rao Middle School. Each team will come to the library for the second half of the day. You'll answer questions about the books you read. The winner of this tournament will then go and battle other schools at the regional competition. <laughs> so if you're interested, grab a form from the library and submit it to Mr. Dix. Just sign up at the Row Hub. If you're looking for the books, they can be found in the library or at the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club is also running an after-school book club on Fridays for people who want to run practice questions and memorize titles and author names. Oh my god! We can't forward to battling this year, Row Eaters! Why are we wearing different clothes? Mr. Newman and the Sherlock News are collaborating to start a new segment called Row Reminders. Woo! What's up, Shamrocks? Mr. Newman here. Uh, Want to give you a heads up on something we're going to start beginning on Monday, October 24th known as Row Reminders. Uh, during this time, the opportunity for me to check in with you, Miss Doyle to check in with you, uh, and some other caring adults in the building around things we need to make sure we're all doing together to make sure we have a safe, respectful, productive, and fun environment here at Rowell Middle School. So we're always supporting everyone and every member of our school community. So during this time, it'll be just a little segment on some of the things I want you to think about today and some of the things I want you to uh, work on over the course of the week. 
Sometimes you're going to see things that they're going to be repeated, like uh, always walking on the right side of the hallway, or making sure we have hall passes, or thinking of our cell phones, or different things like that that sometimes we need a little bit of extra reminder on to make sure that we're always consistent with regard to how we are treating and respecting for each other when we're here at Rao. So uh, keep your eyes out for that. It's going to be a segment that we're going to be having place uh, every morning. And also, we'll also take this time to talk about ways that we're treating each other, how we're respecting each other, and making sure that everybody knows where to go and who to talk to if they need support. One of the things that's incredibly important to me, Shamrocks, is that each of you comes to school every day and feels safe and is supported. This is such a great community, and I know working together will continue to make it even better than it is. All right, Shamrocks, if you see me out there, make sure to give me a what's up, and have a great day. Our Shamrock survey results are in, and we've discovered, according to you, which water fountain is the best. In third place with 23.1% of the votes, the lunch water fountain. How do you feel about the water fountain survey results? I see, I see. And with 23.8% narrow lead over third place, second place, the four corners. Woo! <laughs> How do you feel about the water fountain results? Okay. That one seems pretty salty about the results, man. And in the landslide, this 100 hall got chosen for first place. How do you feel about your results as the winner? I don't know why you won. You suck. You really do. You always Honestly, you are so just... Get away from us. You're bad water fountain. Now, to see my winner, Upper Gym. This one should have been the winner. It's pretty obvious. I mean, look at it in all of its glory. With all the gum chewed up gun head. Gum. It's the best. Yeah. How do you feel about your voted followers who voted for you? Ah. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Do not. Recently, some of our Shamrock News correspondents went into Ms. Perpich's classroom to check out what's going on. We'd like to welcome you back to, a seg back to the segment, What's Going On in Your Classroom. Today, in our What's Going On in Your Classroom segment, we're going on an adventure to Ms. Perpich's room to see them perform their lab. Let's take a look. What's the purpose of this lab? It's to figure out what the mystery mixture is. That one's still reactive. Okay. What are you guys doing right now with your lab? Uh, we're just mixing chemicals together to try to figure out what a mystery mixture is. What the mystery mixture is. Okay. Do you have any ideas of what the mystery mixture is yet? Uh, no, not yet. We. Okay. It, this is our second one so far. Okay. Nice. How does it work? Like, what are you adding together? We're adding vitamin C and water to it. And to what? To this little glass thing. I don't know what this thing is called, but yeah, it's just this. It smells good. So, you guys are trying to figure out the mystery mixture, right? Yep. Do you guys have any ideas of what it is yet? Uh, I think it's baking soda and, uh, what? Yeah, I just think it has baking soda in it, at least. Okay. Thanks for watching What's Going On in Your Classroom. Thanks for joining us this week, <laughs> Round Middle School. See you next time on Shamrock News. Same Shamrock time, same Shamrock place.
give a Shamrock shout out to? I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to all my teachers and all my friends. Who do you want to give a Shamrock shout out to? I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to all of the Shamrock people there. Go! That's a bad. Okay. Do you want to give a Shamrock shout out? Yes. Okay. Who? Miss Cavanaugh. Wait, no, Mr. Cavanaugh. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? I would like to give a Shamrock shout out to my friends Ethan, Leon, Dylan, Cameron. Yeah. <laughs> Those are good names. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to my friends Jacob and Sam and uh, all my teachers. That's a good one. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? All my friends and Fernando especially. Okay. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, Lucas, Jensen, and Henry and Jonah. Those are good names. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Oh. Adrian. Yeah. Shamrock shout out to President Bean Burrito. Who do you want to give a Shamrock shout out to? I would like to give one to this very beautiful man. What are you doing? Who do you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? My friend Madison and my cousin James Dean. Oh wait, who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, I'd like to give a Shamrock shout out to uh, Charlie and him. He knows who he is. Okay. Who do you want to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, my friends William Nicholas and um, Lucas and Jensen and my mom and dad. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? Uh, to Connor and Hunter and also Joe Biden because he's really cool. Joe Biden. Who would you like to give a Shamrock shout out to? I would like to give a Shamrock shout out to all my friends and to my family who have been incredibly amazing for this past week. We just delete this line. Oh, what? What should I be? <laughs> AKA, AKA that one who hits dingers. Should I do something baseball related for my AKA? Yeah. All right, let's go. All right, ready? Bye, Enzo. Let's <laughs> zoom in on Matthew's face really quickly. <laughs> Do it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> Unique. For this award, I can't. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Roll which. Okay. Say hi. Do I like the It's Lit intro? No, you do not. And that is why I am starting a way to remove this intro from the Shamrock News. <laughs> no. Do the Heimlich maneuver. No. The Heimlich maneuver. No. Do the Heimlich maneuver. Yourself up the ground, I said, young man. Like, stop. <laughs> oh my God. What's up, Shamrocks? Mr. Newman here. Um, He's recording oh, now. Uh, me, I'm President Bean Burrito, and I think I'm the best president, and you should vote for me for 2024.